So in this episode, we're gonna start working on the enemy AI behavior. We will add the zombie to our horror game, and we're gonna use the finite state machine to switch between the different states. And whenever we are close to him, he will switch to the scream state, and he starts attacking or chasing. I'm gonna show you how to implement that using the animator component. And let's dive right in. First of all, make sure to watch my first tutorial and create this FPS arm. I'm gonna add the link of the video under the description. Now we are going to add the enemy. But before that, I want to change the environment because it's not scary. The easiest way is to go to the Unity Asset Store by going to Window, Asset Store, and I'm gonna search for Horror Hospital. I'm gonna use some free assets by selecting free. And I want to use this hospital horror pack to add it to our project, I'm going to click Add to my assets. Then you have to download it using the download button and import it. Make sure that everything is selected and hit import. And now let's get back to the project. You will see that we have a new folder, which is this one. We can use the default scene. Let's double click on it. For the first time, you will see that the materials are purple. That's a common issue. We have to upgrade the project materials to the universal under pipeline. Uh, just go to materials and select all of the materials then go to edit rendering and materials converted to urp and there you go it is fixed now we want to add our character or player to this scene for now it is under the terminal and because we are using the fps controller as a prefab we can drag it from our assets it is located under the prefabs folder so we'll simply go to the new scene under hospital then drag and drop the prefab, which is called FPS controller. For now, he's not inside the hospital, so we will need to change its position. Double click on the player capsule, and let's go ahead and move it along the X axis and the Y axis. Even after we put the character inside the hospital, we can't see all of the objects because the main camera is using something that is called the calling mask. It could only uh, show the elements that are uh, selected from here. To fix that, we can select a default so that we can see all of the objects of the scene. Now we can hit play again. I know it's a little bit dark. We can change the lighting a bit. So I want to add a new uh, light source by going to this plus button. And let's go to light and direction light. Now it's too bright. Let's decrease the intensity uh, to 0 0.2. I think it's okay now. Before we start adding our zombie, let's go ahead and organize these files or these objects in the scene. I will create an empty game object and call it level. Then I will add all of these objects of the level inside the level empty game object. Before that, make sure to reset it. Select the last one, then shift select the first one and drag it right here. Now it's way much better. We have our player and the level. To add a zombie, we need some animations and the 3D model. By going to mixamo.com and under characters, you could select one of these. I really like the parasite one. First, I'm going to select the 3D character by going to download and make sure to select FPX for Unity. And under the animations tab, we will search for all of the animations that we need, like idle. I will search for zombie idle and make sure to pick up one of these. I think this one is great. And we can download it and we don't need the skin this time next i'm gonna search for zombie walking let's pick up the first one and make sure to select in place because we are going to use the code to move our character and hit download next we're gonna search for running when we start chasing the same thing select in place and hit download last but not least we're gonna search for zombie scream later on we are going to add some sound effects so that we can make it much scary and we want an attack animation. I'm gonna stick with that for now. And before we import all of the files inside our project, I'm gonna organize it a bit. I'm gonna rename it to characters. Inside it, we're gonna add two more folders. The first one is for the player. And I'm gonna put all of the files that are related to the player, which are these. And we're gonna add the zombie folder. I'm gonna go to the downloads, select all of the files 
drag them into Unity. For the first time, you will need to fix the materials by going to the Materials tab and extract all of the textures. Now we can add it to our scene by dragging the character inside the hospital. Also, I want to rotate it so that we can face the enemy. And let's play again. For now, we have the zombie in front of us, but he's not doing anything. So we'll need to drag the idle animation. This is the walking animation. Make sure to extract all of these using Ctrl D so that we can modify them. And let's select the other one, Scream. Use Ctrl D. Here we have Run, Idle. And finally, the attacking animation. To apply the idle animation to the character, we could simply drag it to the Parasite Zombie. And that creates the animator controller, which is this file. If you double click on it, we have the animator window. By default, the zombie is going to be idle. As you can see, he's idle. Then he stops. We need to make sure it is set to loop. Just select it and select loop time. The same thing for the attack animation and the walking. For the screaming, we're going to play it once. And I'm going to stop right here. I hope you like this project. If you have any question or comment about importing these files, make sure to write them under the comment section down below. In our next video, we're going to start implementing the AI behavior. And we will see you in the next one. Yeah.